guys, this is again Yeager Raya, and I'm back with another video. And this is pretty much to give you some tips and tricks for this week's event. And the event is called Anti Gnome Event. Now, by the way, for those people who are um, subscribed to my channel, I really do appreciate, by the way, that you guys spend some time on watching the videos. And at the same time, I really, really hope that you guys are learning something from the videos that I'm doing because that's actually the main purpose of it, honestly. For this week, pretty much, um, STS decided simply to give us a break however the designers decided to create this event. Now for me, I find this event very, very, very exhausting. Like, no kidding. So the um, Anti Gnome event is almost similar pretty much to um, Xavier's event or Extravaganza wherein you loot a vendor and also a specific um, boss, mini boss, and it's this one here, it's called the Anti-Gnome Thief. If you kill him, you get Anti-Gnome Gears, and that's a sure loot, but however, same with Xavier, he only lasts um, 30 seconds, and the thing there is, he is only spawnable in Elite Boss, in Elite Underhaul. So if you try to farm on any other maps other than Elite Underhaul, which is Umbral Chasm, um, Southern Seas, and also Forgotten Citadel, you're totally wasting your time. Okay? So, first off, um, big, big shout out, by the way, to my first party. I got Marot, Cardsbell, and of course my brother, that's Trindamere. Now, we kind of learned a technique here because originally the event is specifically designed that these vendors and this boss randomly spawns after you kill the boss but the event is just new it actually just started like around um 1 30 central time 1 30 p.m central time so in the philippines by the way that's around 2 30 a.m in the morning so that's the time that it started and it's pretty new so it's kind of glitchy because as you can see, the vendors are actually coming out even you haven't really killed the boss yet. So, right now, unfortunately, I can assure you that this one is really hard to kill. So, another one, um, the, first, the first run, by the way, that I did, we easily spawned um, the thief. However, he actually run away from us, like three times so that was heartbreaking it was like I put so much effort on you I try to wait for too long but then you're just gonna run away <laughs> I'm just kidding don't mind it now by the way big big shout out to my second party I got Trindomere, Ams and also um, Breaker Leg now this is from Enigmatic Breaker Leg and then the other one is from my guild which is Pinoy Unstoppable so big big shout out by the way thank you so much you guys for coming with me and now if i'm going to be giving some tips um i'm just going to be giving the tips directly on the event itself so tip number one pretty much kill all the mobs that you're gonna you know that you're gonna pass by and by the time that you get to the boss hit once run now the reason why you're running is because like i said earlier the event is kind of glitchy so instead of Pretty much the Shady Gnome Dealer and also the Anti-Gnome Thief spawning after you kill the boss. It's actually spawning randomly as you wait. So what you do is do not hit the boss. Try to, if you can hit those big beetles, then just do that. But do not hit the boss. Just let your pet kill it. And as you would notice, I actually count to five. The, the reason why I count to five is because there are times that there will be five um, dealers that will be spawning out. One is the dealer for the helm, the dealer for the armor, the dealer for the belt, the dealer for the ring, and also for the pendant. Now after those comes out, just, just simply wait. You can chit chat, reminisce about your past. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, just just wait because pretty much the anti gnome thief pretty much will come out but by the way um another tip keep a close eye and be extra attentive to the map 
and also when he spawns because like I said these um, vendors and also the thief itself only last for like 30 seconds so if you miss him like what we ha what happened earlier like three times then you just pretty much waited for nothing Aww. sad how sad now I would be recommending as much as possible um, to add like at least two DPS like on this party here I got two warriors and also two rogues the first rogue is me and the other one is M's okay now the reason why there are two rogues because we need someone to deal the damage to that anti gnome thief because he runs away fast so you have to kill him fast now another tip pretty much for rogues um, because this maps these under hole maps they are full of beetles that causes you to be stunned so make sure that one of the skills that you have is razor shield now based on my brother uh, for warriors make sure that you have jug if not then make sure that you have necro and then for mage make sure that you have shield because once you get stunned pretty much you're just stuck there and you'll die okay so make sure that you have those skills and you know at least you can last a little bit longer and at least your party won't actually hate you for being the person who always dies on the map and the best example for that is me I literally always die I'm like a paper seriously I'm made of paper <laughs> so pretty much just keep on running just try to keep and hit um, those beetles so at least they die because they also stun like I said just like me actually what I love and adore about doing this is I can see how my rogue runs he, she looks so sexy Look. <laughs> now do not step on those fiery stuff there and there you go there's the anti gnome um, thief so like as you can see just keep a sharp eye because he runs away really fast so you know if you need to use all of the skills that you have go ahead and use it so at least you can kill him because once he runs away he runs away with your anti gnome set now the importance of the anti gnome set by the way is it makes you overpowered when you go to this map so this is a really good event and at least you can easily farm now here on um, the underhole elite so I hope you learned something by the way from this video honestly I was very exhausted just doing this and looking for a party but I really really want to thank you so much guys for spending eight minutes of your time watching the video I hope you did learn something and hope to see you guys all next week thank you so much love Raya <laughs> I am so tired